The Global Climate Change Alliance has been critical to building capacity within the Pacific. So we work in 15 countries throughout the Pacific, and we work both at the community level on community engagement, training students, and with the governments who are in charge of implementing climate change policy. We have a climate change program in which we offer postgraduate diplomas in a number of classes in that, including vulnerability and adaptation, climate science, tropical meteorology, environmental impact assessment, and disaster and risk management, as well as ecosystem-based adaptation for climate resilience. So those are the classes that we offer. We also offer masters and PhDs. And for example, we have two former students who are lead negotiators for the G77 and for AOSIS, the Alliance of Small Island States. We have more than 80 students who've graduated with postgraduate diplomas in climate change. We have graduated, I think, more than 10 master's degrees, and we're still waiting on the graduation of our first PhD student. In the technical meetings that we have once or twice a year, or once a year through the GCCA, we began discussions on how to design climate change programs that would work throughout the small island developing states. And we've established a partnership with the C5 Center in the Caribbean, as well as the Caribbean Institute of Meteorology and Hydrology. And we are working with them to develop parallel courses in tropical meteorology and climate science and to make sure their expertise on water security in small island states is something we can take advantage of in the Pacific because they have been excellent at making sure that they have good projections and good water management for their futures. The collaboration with the Caribbean was built on meetings and relationship building that occurred throughout the GCCA. So it requires not just a one-off meeting, but seeing those people listening to their presentations and building relationships over time. And I think that's what the GCCA has been so good at. And I think the GCCA's commitment, both at the grassroots level and communities, and at the highest levels in governments and with the regional organizations has been critical to have both a top-down approach and a bottom-up approach. I think that the vision that was shown by the GCCA is incredible and it allows us to begin to support the incredible talent that we see throughout the Pacific and the Caribbean to achieve something much closer to its potential. And I think sustainable development and making sure that it's climate resilient sustainable development is critical to the future of these small island states.